Hey, Jenny Lakenan here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a podcast to your WordPress website from Buzzsprout specifically. So the first thing you need to do is just log into your site and go to posts, all posts, and then you're going to click add new. And then we're going to get the post already with the title and the content and the image. So what, what I do is I like to title my podcasts with um, EP dot and then put the number of the podcast and then put the podcast title after that. So um, I'm actually going to go to Buzzsprout now to get that content. So you'll log into your Buzzsprout account and you'll click on the episode that you want to post to the site. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm not actually going to copy this title because it will have it be all caps, which I don't really want. So I'm just going to type it in the way that it's displayed here. And then I'm going to add in, um, I'm going to click this little plus sign and type, start typing in HTML. And then I'm going to click on this custom HTML block. And that is the block that we are going to be able to paste the podcast embed code in. So we get that embed code. Don't, you know, don't need to be scared of the word code because all it is is just a little snippet that from your Buzzsprout episode, you can click embed this one episode here on the sidebar and it will pop up a little um, pop up and you just click copy embed code. You come back over to this HTML block and you, I'm, I'm pressing control V to paste in. You can also just right click and click paste um, into the HTML block. The next thing I'm going to do is add in the description for the podcast. So I'm going to click add another block and just like a paragraph block right there. I'm going to go back to Buzzsprout and I'm going to copy this description um, from Buzzsprout. And then I'm going to come back to the WordPress post. I'm going to right click and click paste as plain text. Sometimes if you paste instead of pasting as plain text, um, the WordPress will pull in formatting, like weird formatting from um, Buzzsprout, which I don't really want. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add back in the bold and the italicized should be now. Um, that way we still get that effect. I'm just going to press control. Actually, you can just press these. You can press control B or I, or you can just press B, I right there. All right. All right, so that's all looking really good. The next thing we need to do is just add our image and kind of edit some of the settings for the post. So I'm gonna go over here to document. I'm gonna change the author so that it's my client and not me. <laughs> you probably won't have to worry about this, that if you're doing it for yourself. Um, and then I'm going to publish this. Um, I'm actually gonna publish it next week. You can publish it immediately if that is when you want the post to go live or the podcast to go live, but my client actually posts his podcast on Tuesdays at 6 a.m. So I'm gonna change the settings to be Tuesday at 6 a.m. I'm gonna leave everything else here the same. If you are using categories on your blog or um, for your podcast, you can um, open this categories menu and select a category, but we don't use that. so. I'm just gonna leave it as is. The last thing to do is just to set your featured image for the podcast. That is the little thumbnail here that will appear on the website um, just for visual interest and to kind of categorize the post, label it. So I'm gonna click set featured image. I'm gonna click upload files, select files here. And then I'm gonna go to my desktop. That's where I've saved this photo for this client. I'm going to double click it and it'll load in. Then we can click set featured image over here and it'll pull it in just like we want. All right, that's all looking really good. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click schedule and then click schedule again and that will get the post um, scheduled on the site. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the title and I'm gonna edit this permalink. This is the URL that appears in the web address up here. And I don't want to have um, episode, e the EP and the one nine there. I really don't want that to be there. So I'm gonna change, I just don't think it looks very professional and it's not all that great for search engine, optim like search engine reasons either. So I'm just gonna change that and I'm going to have it just be the title and I click save. I went ahead and spelled out that word because um, you can't have an asterisk in a permalink. I'm gonna click save. 
going to close that little panel so that I can get access to the schedule button again. I'm just going to save, click schedule to save my changes. All right, my friends, that is how you um, upload a podcast from Buzzsprout to your WordPress site. In the bottom left corner, after you click schedule, it'll it'll pop up this little post um, update. You can click view post to test the post there and make sure it looks good. Or you can click this little preview button here. And we can see that the post looks good. It's got the title and the podcast and the text and everything else that we need. All right, that's what I've got for you. If this video was useful, go ahead and um, below this video, I actually have a podcast, a content creation framework, which you can also use to create podcast content. And it's a really useful kind of guide for creating podcasts and even blog posts and other content that's gonna be super valuable to your audience. So definitely go and download, download that. And if this video was helpful, subscribe to the channel so you can get future tips for up-leveling your coaching business.